Hey guys, I am back. Howdy, I guess there we go. Um, this is a game I played versus Pajser, Pajser, I'll say. Um, I played this today. It's not a particularly exciting game, but I want to talk about it for a couple reasons. Um, one is that it illustrates two possibly toxic um, cards in the game. Uh, and the other is that it's going to get boring, and then I'm going to be able to have some time to talk about where I've gone um, and what I've been up to. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so I'm playing Mortar, and he's playing Tree Spirits. Uh, both of these cards are really strong and possibly need a nerf. Um, my biggest concern, well, the problem is that without Mortar, um, Fire can't do a whole lot against something like a Tree Spirit spam. Um, because, for example, Sunstriders get hurricaned if you make a bunch. Uh, Firesworn have low stat efficiencies, so they just lose. Um, scavengers can get uh, rooted. Now, to be fair, I've got a power disadvantage because I took a well and he didn't, right? Um, but even if that's not the case, um, like... For example, if I wanted to have an open fight for this well before taking it, I couldn't take it. So my only option when I see him playing a bunch of tree spirits is to make a mortar and start camping. Um, now, again, to be fair, if he wasn't training spirits, tra playing tree spirits, I would still have this option. Um, yeah, that's really bad for me. Um, lagging and dry 25% reduction makes my calculations hard. Um, yeah, so this a couple things I want to talk about. Um, as long as I've got the mortar up, I'm going to be in a very strong position, which is kind of lame against nature, not going to lie. Um, but tree spirits. Tree spirits need to go. Um, so yeah, we're going to see just basically kind of toxic camping here from, from both ends. Um, and it's like there's no skill involved in what's going on here. I'm spamming mortars and he's spamming tree spirits and my mortars are going to win in defense. Um, yeah, I just figured like why not build two? He's got like a ton of power bound here. Um, and I might even, yeah, I take the well. Um, because I figure that two, two mortars is impenetrable. He's going to try and walk around here but I'm still going to be able to get mortar shots off here. Um, yeah, so, Radical X has penetrated my mortar defense in situations like this, um, without Tree Spirit. On the other hand, there's players like, um, like, uh, Dekka, who, uh, I don't know if it's a brag, but I actually did beat him with a mortar. So I, I want to illustrate the potential for toxicity that mortar has here, because it basically gives fire an impenetrable defense. Um, but then the flip side of that problem is that without this impenetrable defense, nature can basically just build a ton of units and run over fire. Also, even you can see with the mortars, right? But being supported like this, uh, it's just super hard to kill them. Um, now again, to be fair, he's bound a lot more power than I have. Um, and this is exactly what mortars are designed to do. But, I don't know. Uh, tree spirits are really strong. Um, another reason I want to talk about this is because right now we are having some balancing discussions about cards that can or should be changed. Mortar is on this list. Um, we're also talking about bandits. And um, just as a sneak peek of some behind the scenes conversations going on in regards to this bandits balancing, um, we would basically really like to move tree spirit into a tier two pure nature card. Um, that would solve the problem of giving nature an MM counter. It would also solve the tree spirit OPness in tier 1. So I am going to lose the well. Um, I've gotten 60 power out of it. Uh, so overall I'm actually not down power considering the power I've had both of these up. Um, and it looks like I am going to be able to get to kill his army. 
with my mortars. And yeah, honestly, he's got. There is the Sun Shredders, you can't build like more than one um, against nature. Even one, he can hurricane for 40. And that's just cost efficient, assuming that he gets it killed. Um, so your only option playing nature with fire is to play like. Well, if you play Fire Sworn, um, the Wind Weavers can like root it and snipe it from far away by hitting something else. They can also root the Scavenger. Uh, you know, I'm, it's not like you can just run over them, but uh, it's really hard without mortar to defend anything with fire against nature because the stats are so good. Um, it's a similar with Frost, but a little bit better because with Frost, um, like, he can't heal everything, he can't root everything, he can't oink everything, or not oink, but uh, hurricane everything. Um, so you do have, you know, more options with Frost. You know, Fire Sworn is, is a card you can use to uh, to uh, hit at Master Archers, for example. Yeah, I decided I'm just going to build three mortars. Uh, sorry for the rant. Also, sorry for the quality. I don't know how this is going to be. This is the first video I've recorded in a really long time. Um... I've been back, so thank you to everybody who has seen me in the Forge and said hello. Um, have been back, but I've been using a different computer, and I tried to record, and it looks like none of those videos turned out because that computer is not as powerful as this one. Yeah. Um, you can see these three are basically instantly destroying scavengers, so I'm going to make two of these, and they're going to get hurricaned. Uh, yep. Um, but. I'm not really worried again because I've got just mortars which I can continually spam. And as long as this stays up, I've got the extra well. Um, so to me, there's only one conclusion. There's only one way this game can go um, with him trying to attack me. Now, he, what he could do is he could walk all the way over here and start attacking me here. Um, that would probably give me time to build up, uh, build up more mortars there. Um, because, you know, downside with towers is once you build them, they're binding power there. So the the correct play when this happens is to, if you see I'm building three mortars, that's 150 power, put your units to do something else, you know, walk around over here, take take this power well, or, um, you know, it's just, it's hard because I basically had, um, control of the center because he, um, he spawned the tree spirit, right? So he's obviously going to rush tree spirits. Um, if you wanted to be more tricky, oh, and I'm going tier two, right? Because uh, I want to get rid of his his tier one big Mazar army, and going tier two is a good way to accomplish that. Uh, yeah, so this game, this is how it is. It's not. <clears throat> this is not necessarily for entertainment purposes. It's just to illustrate the toxic power of mortar and the toxic power of tree spirits and i don't know how we're going to find a good solution right? because if we just mort nerf mortar um then tree spirit and to a lesser extent nature in general is going to be able to steamroll fire um so maybe that's part of part of that maybe it's just me being bad and not knowing how to deal with nature um but that's uh one of the problems I see. Actually, I've got another replay, which is hilarious, and yeah, that'll be my next one. I've got a hilarious replay next time. Um, so, this is this game. You can see I'm gonna win. It gets really funny though because he starts to make a ton of buildings, um, and these are actually quite strong. So, I'm gonna go ahead and enter double speed, um, and maybe we'll go into quadruple speed here in a minute. So I thought about attacking him. Well, you'll see. Um, I figured I'd take. Um, yeah, I just figured I'd just go tier three and uh, run over him. Problem is, Fire Nature doesn't have a great tier three, which can al also illustrate the weakness of Fire Nature tier three. Um, you know, it's not necessarily bad, but it can't like cut through defense. Even a tier one defense, um, Fire Nature tier three is going to struggle. So I decided that um, probably in the worst case what I can do is I'll just uh, 
Yeah, the Mark of the Keeper, it prevents me from healing or anything, so I'm just... Nothing I can do, right? They get rooted, and I'm dead. Um, so I figured, here's what I should do. I should just take a ton of power wells, and then just outscale him massively, and if, if it comes down to a score, then that won't be a question. Um, and, you know, I don't know. I don't know why you play like this, so... If you play like this, um, I guess I'm gonna play kind of lame back. I mean, I don't know. It, it's hard to say. I'm playing. We're both playing lame the whole game. Anyway, um, yeah. Next game I've got is also gonna be interesting. Of like a tier three versus tier one nature. Um, Fire nature's tier three is pretty bad at like things that are weaker. I would say. Um, I don't know. Giant slayers are really good, but it's like giant slayer and virtuoso. And every other faction has a better card than Virtuoso so they can take. But I digress. Okay, so um, I'm going to just run around and take some wells. And this replay is going to go on for a lot longer. Uh, so while I while this happens, let me just tell you what's been going on with me. Um, so I just moved. So that's been a struggle. I just moved. I had a internet package changed. Um, to move my couch down the stairs and up the stairs. Um, I also am married, so you guys actually got to have one video with my wife, my now wife. She was my girlfriend or fiance at that time. And let me try something fancy. I'm gonna try and link that here uh, if you want to see that video. Okay, so right now I'm building a bunch of bio bloods. Yeah. So I got married. Um, I'm in grad school. I finished my hardest classes. So things should be better now. Um, it's in the summer, so I'm doing some research. I've got a little more time to play Battleforge. Uh, I think that's the main things. Um, if you guys want, I can do some sort of like Q&A maybe. Yeah, so I wanted to kill this stuff, and then I'm going to come back and heal. He's coming to build more. Um, I lava filled and that didn't work. Yeah, so I figured I'd start with the vile bloods, so we can try to get rid of the stuff at front, and then once we're out of vile bloods, then I can uh, make more of my other cards, because I don't want to run out of tier 3 chargers if it if it comes down to that. Yeah, so Burrower spam here, and then I figured Virtuosos, and then all my giant stars. I'm basically, I've got the whole map, so I'm basically making everything that I want. Um, yep. So, here's the attack. <laughs> kind of silly um, and it is going to prevail yep I still can't support with any spells which makes this tough but it shouldn't be tough to play tier 3 versus tier 1 but um, you know you, I don't know maybe I'm just bad you guys can tell me if I'm bad I don't mind uh, I know it um, yeah so I hope this game was Illustrative a couple things. Um, hope it gave you a satisfied some questions about where I've been. Um, yeah, and if you guys want, you can leave comments down below, and I'll either uh, if there's only a couple comments, I'll address them in the next video uh, on the side while we're waiting for something slow to happen. Um, if not, I can even make a dedicated Q and A video. A couple people messaged me in the forums to ask about that, so thanks. Um, looks like this is finally over, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.